lappers in NASCAR's Sprint Cup Series, nobody has a higher average finish on road course races than Marcus Ambrose. Marcus joins us live now. Marcus, first of all, good day, mate. We're glad to see you here with us. A big day for you guys. Two things have happened to you at Sonoma, it seems, over the years. First of all, you've led a ton of laps. You're always out front there, but you've also had your share of heartbreaks at that racetrack. <laughs> Yeah, I certainly have, but uh, you guys keep reminding me about it. I've seemed to have moved on, but you guys keep bringing up some of that old footage. But uh, we've got a lot of work today in front of us with the DeWalt Ford that I'm driving. We didn't qualify as well as we should have, but we're really mindful about tyre wear here. We've been working all weekend on trying to manage our tyres. Got a nice soft setup underneath us here to try to look after those rear tyres. And hopefully 15, 20 laps into the run, we're going to start coming to the front. Marcus, you're a favorite, so we always have our eye on you, and we notice in practice your tires are lifting up off the ground some foot and a half. Will you run your car like that today, or have you changed your setup? Uh, we're going to be we're going to be lifting tires, no doubt about it. I think all the fast cars are. We were a little more than than others, which worries me some. Uh, so we have made some small adjustments, but I, I got to tell you. The tire wear here and the drop off of tires is as much as I've ever seen on any track anywhere in the world. So uh, really the setups are getting fairly extreme just trying to manage those tires. Well, Marcus, to that point, you are starting so deep in the field and the guys you got in front of you are not going to be easy to pass. I mean, how are you going to go after these guys? Because you know yourself that Jamie's not going to be sitting there waiting on you guys to catch up with him. How aggressive are you going to be at the very start of the race? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not going to see Jamie for a while, but uh, I've had the fastest car here last two years, yet I can't win the race because I can't manage my tyres. So hopefully the fast cars at the front that scoot away for the first five, six laps will come back to us some on the long run. That's really the plan. That's what we committed to before we got here. Uh, we're just going to have to see how, how it plays out. But, you know, the, the tyre wear um, is, is really high. If we get long green flag runs, hopefully, uh, you know, these soft setups, and I've got a very soft setup, hopefully it works out for us and uh, we can get our car to victory lane. But, yeah, there is a lot of grey area. I don't really know how it's going to go. I'm a little nervous about it. But all we can do is uh, just look after our stuff early on and let the race come to us. Marcus, you're one of the best in all the world at braking. What is your favourite place, what is your favourite corner to pass on in today's race? Uh, today it's probably going to be turn 7A and turn 11. They're the two easiest places to make passes. They're both under brakes. But I'm not going to wait for those two corners. I'm going to pass them when I, when I catch them. So um, <laughs> if I'm out there yes. and I've got an opportunity to pass, I'm just going to go for it. Marcus, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate the time and best of luck out there. Thank you, guys. All right, that's Marcus Ambrose. He's won on the road courses before never Sonoma, but chances are he's going to be up front in a hurry. Coming up, road course races are different from the ovals in almost every way, especially the way you call it from the pit box. Strategy is important, but perhaps more so here than anywhere else.